Hey. Are you all right? I'm sorry, can I take a look, please? Oh, there's nothing to look at. Better give me an injection. Oh, my God. I'm afraid this will happen. If we don't amputate it, you won't survive the afternoon. The prison doctor, he told me the same thing. Word for word. But that was over a week ago. And he didn't do anything? Sadly, the only surgical equipment he had was a, was a rusty wash basin. Very funny. All right. All right. Don't, don't worry. It should be like that. Only like that. I'm also talking to God. To God? Great. You need to get up if you don't want to lose something else to frostbite. What do you mean, you talk to God? What? Oh, my arm. You've seen my arm, yes? It's been a week or more. I doubt it. And what does God have to do with this? Well, uh, let me explain. Ever since that night, everything, every event, it all happened as I was told it would. I I'm certain I was the only one who left that train alive. It's all going according to plan. Every fucking step is God's plan, do you understand? So taking me hostage was God's plan? I know what you're thinking. But remember the Gospel. The father who gave his money to the prodigal son, not to the beloved one. The good one. To the bandit. He who had been murdering and stealing, but came back. He came back. Do you understand? I think the Lord is happier to see to see one repentant sinner than, well, a hundred thousand righteous people. I don't know. They don't even need repentance. Do you, do you hear me? You know, he, he laid everything out before me. Spread out like a deck of cards, the past, the present, the future. Who? God, who else? I was lying there, about to die. And a sister, just like you, brought me some water in this mug. I was drinking and I saw I saw ripples in water, little round waves, and heard a whisper, so I drank, and... You heard God in a cup? In a cup, yes. But that's, that's not the point. I'll show you when we get there. Look, a water tower. That means the station is behind the windmill. The station? Why? We're doing fine. We've only got fuel for a couple of bursts. I won't be able to drag you around with no steam. Maybe we should go around. A nun and an officer? Who cares? But the telegraph poles. The cables ripped out, though. And the road. Doesn't look like it's been used lately. Do this. It's as if they blocked the passage on purpose. The brake is rusted shut. I have to find something to get rid of the screw.
Maybe there's something in that shed. So? Thank you. 
is this smell? So? Found a wrench. <laughs> Give it to me. Just a dog. Calm down. I hate them. Hurry up. Quiet, quiet, little doggy. We won't hurt you. Are you crazy? Run! you up with my bare hands if I wanted. Well, hand. Why? I mean, why the fuck did you throw away the revolver? You know, it would have been useful. I mean, a girl, I would, I would never. Well, oh, shit. Tell me something. If you're God's chosen one, why didn't God heal you completely right away? That's a good question. Here's your answer. Here. Here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Come on. I don't understand. So God had enough power only to stop the rotting, but to heal you completely, he needed some kind of tool. Look, it's not, it's, it's not about the tool. A man can't be saved against his will, you see. Basically, look, yeah, it has nothing to do with my arm. It's about the path path we've been given, and whether to follow it or not, it's up to us. What do I have to do with it? So, possessed people are taken to the Kajits? Everybody is. 
Do I look possessed to you? No, n- not you. All right, let's get out of here. Hoist me up. Me hoist you up? Yes, you. You won't be able to pull me up from up there. Ilya? Are you alive? Ilya? Yeah. All right. Yeah. What's going on? Of course it wasn't a coincidence, and now Indica realized it too. She had heard about the Kuyets and its miracles. But right now, it's Spasov and Ilya. Meeting a prisoner who talks to God would not be an everyday occurrence. Also, Indica took a liking to him. Who, this one? <laughs> no. One way or another, there was certainly no doubt that she had to head for Spasov, and not the Danilov Monastery. The letter! I cannot look like my duty. What if there's something important in it? Open it. See for yourself. No. Reading someone else's letter is a greater sin than not delivering it. Greater? How much greater? Twice as much. I don't know. Interesting. So, not delivering two letters is the same as reading one. What about stealing? Pocketing a ruble, for example. Is that worse? Worse. How much worse? This is nonsense. You can't compare such things. Why not? The priest imposes a different penance for different sins. And since you know for sure which is better or worse, there has to be a way of measuring. Then let us say that stealing is ten times worse than not delivering a letter. What about murder? Let us put that at a thousand letters. That would mean that if a postman were to lose a sack full of letters, we'd have a murder. Although, maybe there should be a bulk discount. What about a rapist? A rapist is better than a murderer, right? You are not scared of the sin. You are scared of the letter. Perhaps you should not open it. Do not do it. Best knows you inside out, so everything turned out just as written. <laughs> Defrocked her? How did that happen? <laughs> Even a Dakia wasn't on. Oh, the stream! 
Listen, I'll help you get to Spasov. Somehow, Indica was convinced that the Kudets was going to solve all of her problems. That soon the voice in her head would disappear and she would return to the monastery as someone who deserves at least forgiveness, if not everyone's love. She thought that years of suffering had been leading her up to this exact moment. I figured out 
know what this place is? This is Denisovka, the paint factory. Marva told me about it. She, she's our iconographer. They make yellow paint in that shed. everyone there was an explosion they say everyone was evacuated in one day Americans I guess very likely or the English So where do we go now? Stairs! There should be a station behind the windmill. stay underwater, huh? I don't know. I'd wait for a couple of hours, just to be sure. The stairs are broken. We'll have to go through the mill. Oh, 
beautiful. We, we had this one artist in the clink. He drew his family on the wall with his own ship. They looked so lifelike. What? He was like that. Didn't manage to finish the drawing of the daughter, though. Le left her with just one eye. He got stabbed. Because of the stench? No. He, he was drawing on the wall outside. It was minus 30 degrees. Shit doesn't really stink when it's cold. He got stabbed because, well, it's against the code. So where do we go now? The elevator. Here's the gearing. Planetary gear set by, by blocking one of the wheels, you can change the direction of the shaft rotation. I see. I guess we should look for an intact cotter. I see. It doesn't fucking work. Nothing works here right now. It's a cotter, a safeguard. It breaks when there's an overload to protect the important parts of the engine. I see.
Yes. No. No. I told you people should have gone around. Ever been to the circus? Yeah. Yeah. Sinners among dogs. Only humans can sin. Tempted by the devil. And that dog, its humans left, stopped feeding it. So it became a matter of survival. Interesting. So what's the difference between a human and a dog? The thing you're blaming the devil for is as likely to happen to a human as it is to a dog. It gets angry when its food is taken away. It's ready to tear anyone apart if its possessions are threatened. A dog gets sad if its beloved human is not around. It gets jealous, anxious, even sodomy as possible. Remember that one time when Georgie... That's different. They needed to survive. To find the most promising partner, give birth to offspring. And a human? You have such a simple explanation for a dog. But how come humans can never do without divine or devilish intervention? 